Monk Streaming Radio is a sleek MP3 player widget that loads fast and is easy to use. Making your own station list for the player is easy to do. Just follow along as we go through the steps. First, you'll need to find an address for the radio stream that you want to include in your player. One place to look for stations is Shoutcast.com. Here you can search through various music categories. Blues, Classical, Country, Easy Listening, Inspirational, New Age, Rap, Pop. Each of the categories have sub-themes. Adult Contemporary, Dance Pop, Oldies. You could pick exactly what you want. For this example, let's create a 70s music player. First, I'll select Decades, and then 70s. You can sort the list of stations by clicking on the listener heading. This will tell you the number of people listening to the radio station right now. This will help tell you if the station is popular. One of the problems with Internet radio stations is that they can be here today and gone tomorrow. And when you hard code an IMVU radio widget with a station, you want to be sure that it'll be around for a while. Look for a stream that is type MP3, because AAC streams do not play in IMVU. Preview the station by clicking on the play button, and if you like what you hear, we can go ahead and find the streaming URL for that station. Click on the download button on the station you've selected and pick Winamp. It's okay if you don't have Winamp installed. We're going to open the file in Notepad. Save the PLS file somewhere you can find it, like on your desktop, and then open that file in Notepad. Look for the first HTTP in the address and copy all the way until the word title starts. HTTP through the word title. This is going to be what we use, but first let's download the sample XML file so we don't have to create one from scratch. Right click and select Save as Link and then open up that file in Notepad. You'll see that each station call has five lines of code in between station and station fields. If you want to have more than one radio station on your player, simply copy these five blank fields as many times for each station you want to have. That should be enough for now. Now, let's go back and get the URL from the file that we downloaded off of Shoutcast. Either you can go to the Edit menu and select Copy, or right-click and select Copy from the pop-up window. Now, go and find the first streaming URL, SURL field. Place your cursor inside and select Paste. At the end of the URL that you've just pasted, place a forward slash and a semicolon and delete any spaces. Now you have the first streaming URL code inserted in your XML file. The other two fields include a long station name, which will display when you select that station on the MP3 player. I'll just copy the name of the station from Shoutcast and paste it where it says L name or long name. There we go. You can actually put anything you want in these fields. 
the name field on the top displays in the pull-down menu, and so it should be shorter, a short little tag, a nickname, perhaps, for the station. Let's do one more example. I'll just select the second station in the list, saving as a Winamp file, and opening up the PLS file in Notepad. And now I'm going to look for where the address starts by looking for the letters HTTP and selecting all the way through, but not including, the word title. HTTP all the way through, but not including the word title. I'll copy this string, right-click, copy, and I'll go back to my XML file and find the next SURL code and do paste. Placing forward slash semicolon and getting rid of any space. Now I'll copy the long name for the station. You know, in this instance, it's not all that long. And you can have anything you want in these fields. And placing a short name. Now we have two radio stations populated in our XML file. I'll go ahead and delete the last set of codes because we don't need them for this. We'll have our station with two examples. Save this file somewhere where you know where it is because we're going to need to import it into our IMVU client. From the Monk Streaming product page, go down to the bottom and select Derive from Product. Or type in the numbers here to create a new derivation of your own. You can add your own textures to the wall sign or add your own mesh just as you would any other product that you're creating from. But to add the XML file, we need to open up what's called the Asset folder. And it's really important that you don't stand on the radio and open the player before you add your XML. If you do, you'll need to close the edit window and open it again because we need to add our XML file before we activate the radio. To open and locate the Asset folder, click on the folder icon up at the top middle of the page. This will open up the folder where any of the files that you have go, like your textures. Now find the XML file that you've saved, perhaps on your desktop, and copy it. Right-click, Copy, and go to the folder, the IMVU Asset folder that you just located, and right-click, Paste. Now you'll see your file, mradio.xml, and it must be that name, is in your IMVU folder for this product. You'll know it's there and that it worked because in IMVU the Apply Changes button will now be highlighted yellow. Apply Changes and Save. And now when you step on the player to activate it, you'll see that your two stations are in the pull-down menu up top. There's Super Hits from the 70s, 
and number one hits from the 70s. That's all there is to it. 